Neutralization precipitation involves adding a chemical to the solution to change its pH and cause the impurities to precipitate out. Precipitation reactions involve adding a reactant to the solution that reacts with the impurities to form a solid precipitate. Applications of chemical precipitation Chemical precipitation has a wide range of applications, including Water treatment Chemical precipitation is commonly used in water treatment plants to remove impurities such as heavy metals, phosphates, and sulfates from the water. Mining Chemical precipitation is used in the mining industry to separate valuable minerals from waste rock. Pharmaceuticals Chemical precipitation is used in the production of pharmaceuticals to isolate and purify certain chemical species. Inorganic chemicals Chemical precipitation is used in the production of inorganic chemicals such as metal salts. Environmental remediation Chemical precipitation is used in the remediation of contaminated soil and water. The technique can be used to remove heavy metals and other pollutants from the environment. Advantages and disadvantages of chemical precipitation One of the main advantages of chemical precipitation is its simplicity and ease of use. The process can be easily automated, and it can be used to remove a wide range of impurities from a solution. Additionally, the process can be relatively cost-effective compared to other separation techniques. However, chemical precipitation also has some disadvantages. The process can generate large amounts of waste, including the precipitate and the reagents used to cause the precipitation. Additionally, the process can be sensitive to changes in temperature, pH, and other environmental factors, which can affect the quality of the final product. Environmental remediation is the process of removing or reducing contaminants in the environment. Contaminants can be present in soil, water, air, or other natural resources. Environmental remediation aims to restore the environment to its natural state or to a condition that is safe for human health and the ecosystem. There are several methods of environmental remediation, including Excavation Excavation involves the removal of contaminated soil or other materials from the environment. The contaminated material is then transported to a facility for treatment or disposal. Bioremediation Bioremediation involves the use of microorganisms to break down contaminants into harmless substances. The microorganisms can be naturally occurring or added to the environment. Bioremediation can be used to treat contaminated soil, water, or air. Chemical treatment Chemical treatment involves the use of chemicals to break down or remove contaminants from the environment. Chemical treatment can be used to treat soil, water, or air. Pump and treat Pump and treat involves the extraction of contaminated groundwater, followed by treatment and discharge. The process can be used to treat groundwater contaminated with petroleum products, solvents, or other chemicals.